Hello Aquarius viewers, I'm going to look into what your person's thinking, feeling, wanting, um, what action they might be taking towards you over the next couple weeks or so. Just whatever the cards want to say here. The last reading I did for you guys, I was getting that things are getting very deep and very real quickly. This is a really intense situation. Um, someone is spying and trying to dig up some dirt. So this could be a karmic, like on their end, that's spying on you and trying to dig up dirt on you. This could be their spying on you and trying to dig up some dirt. Uh, for this group of Aquariuses, I have been getting that your person is trying to perfect themselves for you. I think that this relationship was really unexpected for them or this connection. I mean, if you guys are talking or just the way that they're feeling about you. I think that it was very unexpected. Like, I don't think that they were fully ready for love. But they know that you're a catch. They know that this is a once-in-a-lifetime kind of love. So they don't want to just let you go either. But it just feels like it just kind of caught them off guard. Like, they they just weren't ready. Like, maybe they're going through a divorce. Um, maybe going through a custody battle for some of them. Um, some of them just have... Maybe certain goals that they wanted to meet before they got into a relationship. Like maybe some of them are trying to lose weight or they're trying to go to the gym for a while. Um, they're trying to focus on their career and get a promotion. They're dealing with health, mental or physical health issues. It's just that kind of energy where it's like they're... And that's been coming up the past month or two where it's like they're trying to sort everything out very quickly before they lose this connection like they want to catch up to you and, and make this work and make this right but I think they just weren't prepared they just have a lot on their plate right now there's a lot going on with them so they're a little bit stumped on what to do because like I said it just it, this connection this love is like they were not expecting this it's just you know like like people like they say you know love comes when you least expect it So now they're really trying to like hurry up. They might be kind of detached and distant because they're trying to hurry up and work through these issues. Could be karmic cycles too that they're trying to work through so they can give you the kind of love offer and commitment that you deserve. This person really does have you on a pedestal though. I think this person sees you as very, very confident, very lovely, just very um, unique. So they don't want to give you some kind of half-ass offer. They want to make sure that they do this right. But some of them, oh, and also them having a secret keeps coming up too. Some of them have a secret, like they say that they're divorced, but the divorce isn't finalized yet, but they didn't want to tell you that because they don't want you to leave. Um, some of them might be lying about their living situation because they're embarrassed that they're living at home or something, something of that sort. Some of them might be going through a custody battle and not be telling you about it just because they don't. They just don't want to lose you. I think there's like this fear that if they're too honest and if they tell you what's really going on, that they might lose you. Um, or it could be like mental or physical health issues. Like they're just trying to sweep it under the rug and like, okay, I'll just, I'll take my medication or I'll go to the gym or I'll do this and that and I'll, I'll sort through it. I'll figure it out. And, you know, they're just trying to just kind of deal with it alone on their own. Um, and get to a point where they don't have to tell you about it. You know what I mean? Like if it's like a health issue, it's like their their mentality is, well, if I if I just work through this and keep going to the doctor on my own, maybe I can just get rid of this health issue and then I there's no need to even tell you about it in the first place. You know what I mean? So they're, they might be keeping secrets, but it's like their intentions are good. They're just, they're really afraid that you're not going to understand. Um, just to reiterate for those of you that are new to this channel. But they really are, they really have been trying to get their life in order. And yeah, the last reading I did for you guys, I was getting some, some intense energy. Like someone's really spying. Someone's trying to dig up some dirt. So let's see what the current energy is here. Choosing their words wisely, planning their approach, sadness. You cause them sadness, they cause you sadness. There's some kind of sadness here. Um... And whatever, this the sadness is connected to this card. So choosing their words wisely, planning their approach. They're trying to figure out how, what to say to you. They're trying to, they're trying to plan this wisely. Some of them are already starting to come forward about their secrets, like, but they're kind of testing the waters. You know what I mean? Like maybe 
it could be anything. It could be like some of them are like polyamorous or something like that, and they don't know how to tell you that. So maybe they're just going to hint at it like, oh, what would you think of, what do you think of polyamorous relationships? Or just something of that sort. Or like, oh, there's still some drama going on with my ex. You know, I hope you understand. And they want to see how open and understanding you are. But the truth is, like, they're not divorced, even though they say they are. Like that kind of energy. Not for everyone, but you know what I mean? It's just that kind of energy where there's a secret and they're kind of, testing the waters to see how open you are. Um, but I do get more and more that they are trusting you more and they are wanting to open up to you more. Feels like someone is complacent and stagnant right now due to sadness though. They might have, so I get two different stories here. For some, because we have choosing their words wisely, planning their approach. So for some, I feel like maybe they have distanced themselves and they've caused you some sadness and confusion and like the relationship is just not going as fast as you want. And they could be kind of putting you on hold because they're trying to, like I said, they're trying to sort their life out. They're trying to figure everything out, but they should just communicate with you and be open with you about it. But instead, they're just kind of dealing with it all alone and hoping that they don't have to tell you whatever the secret is. But if they've caused you sadness, it's like they're trying to make, they're waiting for a green light to come forward. They want to talk, but they're wanting to be careful. They want to make sure, they don't want to argue. They don't want to lose you. They, they don't want to hurt you again. They want to make sure they do it right. For others, I feel like they haven't hurt you. Or maybe some of you hurt, hurt them. Maybe you said something you didn't mean and you hurt their feelings. That's possible too. But the other for others, I feel like, I feel like they want to talk to you about what's made them sad, what's made them stagnant. They might be going through a dark night of the soul. They might be doing some healing work right now, and they want to choose their words wisely and plan the approach to have this really deep, very vulnerable, very emotional discussion with you about why they are the way they are and, and what they're going through right now. They want to try to like let you in more. Um, I don't know why I saw, I saw, I'm rewatching Vampire Diaries right now. I don't know if there's any Vampire Diaries fans, but I, I saw like some, I just, in my head, I saw some of the scenes with, um, I was going to say Edward and Bella. Oh my God. No way. <laughs> Stefan and Elena. I don't know why I just drew a blank on that name. Um, but no, I'm like seeing like the first season. So this will make me resonate with some of you where Elena keeps trying to get Stefan to like open up to her and, and she keeps like she knows that he has secrets and she keeps trying to like get him to be open. And then eventually he's like, I'm a vampire. And she's like, oh, shit, like that's not the secret I was expecting. Like and it's just like a whole another world after that like a whole bunch of chaos it's kind of like that I don't know why that's coming up for me maybe that, maybe that resonates with some of you but it's like that kind of energy where it's like you're like wanting to know them better or this could be vice versa like they're wanting to know you better and it's like are they prepared though you know or like I, I think for most of you though it's like you're wanting to know them better you want to know why they're so closed off why are they going through this and it's like their secret might be really intense. And so they're just, they're scared of losing you. They, they don't know what you're going to do if they, yeah. And they've been in this energy for a while. It's like this, I've been channeling this for like a month where they're still kind of, whatever it is, it's like they're trying to rush through it. Like if it's like a custody battle or something, like they might be just trying to like hire a lawyer and just trying to like work their asses off to pay for, for the lawyer and trying to get everything together to just get through it and be done with it. Um, without having to tell you. So they might just be like distant and it's like, they're still going through this, you know, whatever it is. I feel like whatever this is, is going to take, cause it keeps coming up in the readings. It's been like a month now. And I feel like whatever it is, is going to take longer than they expected. And inevitably, eventually they're going to just have to tell you what it is, you know, like, if it's like a health problem, I feel like they're just distancing themselves, but trying to hold on to you at the same time because they don't want to lose you. And they're just thinking like, okay, I'll just, I'll keep going to the doctor. I'll, I'll have this healthy diet. I'll do this. And maybe in a month it'll, it'll be not such a big deal. And then I won't have to tell them or like, okay, I'm just going to work my ass off. I'm going to hire a lawyer to get, you know, custody of my kids. Like, so I don't even, don't even have to tell, tell you that the divorce isn't finalized yet. 
you know, because you know, you know what I mean? It's, or it's, it's like they're they're going something like that, where it's like they're thinking that they can just distance themselves and just rush through this energy and figure it out on their own and then come back to you once they figured it out. But they're not realizing that it's going to take months or longer to, to finalize this, to finalize the divorce, the custody battle, the, the health issues, the, the whatever it might be. And inevitably, eventually, they're going to have to just face that reality. Right now, they're in denial. They're thinking that they can deal with this all on their own. They're feeling very lonely, very detached from everyone around them right now. And eventually, it's like they have to just face the reality that they need to just talk to you about it. Um, if this is your story and you want me to go more in depth into what's going on, just um, send me an email. My email is right below in the description box below this video. Also, any donations are appreciated. Even just a dollar, it really adds up quickly. Yeah, isolation, loneliness, emptiness. They're feeling very isolated. Yeah, very confused, very uncertain. It's like the desire is there. The love is there. They want to commit to you, but there's a reason that they just can't. Um... They're just, like I said, they're just not ready for love. There's certain things that they need to, that they know that they have to figure out and they don't know how you're going to feel about those things. They don't know if it's going to work. Like some of them maybe planned on moving to another state and then they met you and now they're just trying to figure that out. Like, are they really going to move up? Are they really going to give up, you know, this home in another state to, to stay here and be with you when they're tired of the location that you guys live in it's like something like that too it's like where they need to make these decisions and they don't know how to make the decisions and they just they just don't want to lose you is all they know but they don't they don't know what their next step is they're very lost right now risk reward bold gesture choosing love over fear and i'm sorry this reading is so similar to um, you know, readings we've gotten like a month or so ago, but I mean, it's just, it's whatever the story is. I just pick up whatever the current energy is. That's what the cards are going to say. It's, it's current energy. And this is, this is the current energy where they're still on this merry-go-round. They're still lost. They still know they don't want to lose you, but they don't know what to do next. They're just, you know, they're confused. They are choosing their words wisely though. So if they hurt you recently, it's like they're wanting to get out of this stagnant energy and make a move and make this right. Um, cause I, I just see them treading gently with something like there's something that they want to talk to you more. They want communication open with you, but they're just worried that they've hurt you or they're worried that their past and their, their, the darkness that they've gone through, that it's going to be too much for you. So they're trying to really summon the courage to have this conversation. They're just, there's a very kind of nervous energy around them right now. Okay, any final messages here? Like I said, if you want a private reading, my email is just right below this video and I can go more in depth into, you know, because it's going to be different for everyone. I mean, it's it's the same energy group, but the story is going to be, it's going to vary a little bit. You know, some of them are, some of them it's health issues. Some of them it's it's divorce. Some of them it's, you know, third party. Some of them it's uh, going to the gym. It's there's, there's a few different stories here, even though it's the same general energy group of Aquariuses. Um, so yeah, any final messages here for this group? Spying. I got that energy strongly last time too, that they're spying on you. They're watching you. They're wanting to be close to you. There's a third party distraction. So if you're in a third party relationship, they know about it, I feel, and they're jealous and they're upset. Some of them might just be assuming you're in a third party situation. Like, cause I did get that energy of them digging. Like they might like see like a someone on your Facebook or your social media and they're like, oh, who's that person? Like they're some kind of jealousy energy here. Someone's spying or the karmic, if they're, the karmic could be spying on you on social media too and trying to dig up dirt on you. Someone's spying though, for sure. Truth and clarity. What's the truth and clarity? Yeah, X, the past. Hmm. There's just a lot of secrets with this group. There's a lot of secrets. Lots of scandalous, scandalous energy. All right, come on, guys. What are the final messages here? What are the final messages? Courage, assertive, ah. Courage, assertiveness, forward movement. Okay. Chaser, chasey, power struggle. 
toxic. Yeah, they might be caught in like a power struggle with someone, some kind of toxic energy with red flags over here. And they're they're gonna eventually have to end that pattern or cycle that they're in, this karmic cycle. They're gonna have to have this breakthrough and this freedom. It's just gonna take a lot of courage. So it's a matter of working up to that. Pause, reflection, rest. Yeah, there might be some stagnation between you guys because they have to figure this out. Beauty, mystery, enchantment. Uh, could be something with like a club or a party. Hmm. I feel like they're cutting these cords. Like they're going to. Yeah, like they're, I feel like you're more fun. If they are in a karmic situation, it's like maybe you're more fun than the karmic is. Um, they are wanting to message and reach out. I am getting that. They are wanting to talk. Maybe some of them have really kind of distanced themselves lately and now they're realizing it. They're like, oh crap. Like things were like moving with you guys and then like the past couple weeks or so, they just kind of got quiet and stopped messaging you as much and they're like, oh crap. Like, because they're so focused on like whatever this issue is like I'm just gonna like okay like I need to get the divorce you know I need to get a lawyer for the divorce so I'm just gonna work and work and work to save money and I'm just gonna get the divorce and then I'm gonna they're gonna come back to you and it'll be all good they don't have to ever have told you that the divorce wasn't finalized but it's like now they're kind of stop. they're kind of they're gonna start realizing that it's gonna take time though and it's like they're They've been so busy that they're just going to like stop and be like, oh, crap, it's been like a week or two weeks since they've messaged you. And they're just going to be like, oh, crap. And they're just going to think like they're going to be torn. Like, like, do they keep just focusing on this issue and just going at it and trying to fix it and then coming back to you when it's resolved? Or do they just talk to you and maybe start opening up about what's going on? Um, and come clean, you know, it's, it's kind of, it, there's going to be some, we'll probably get that energy in future readings is, is those choices that need to be made on their end. But right now they're just, they're just confused. Um, anyway, if this resonates, please go ahead and subscribe. Thank you for watching.